who's going to be getting the uh, the first kill of this game. I mean, indeed, uh, we are already low on the regen, but he's making the making the moves here for the water runes. Yeah. Top Gorg. Oh. Uh, he's getting uh, body blocked here by Omar with some smooth steps, and and that will set it up. First blood there for Uridu Thunders as they take down Gorg, getting blocked off on the attempted retreat against one another. Not going to be a trade that Bengen can stand any longer. Bottom lane. Team Bold. Get the block off onto Kaori. See if Papo's got enough damage to take him down with these right clicks here. 2000 TP and four to try and get the kill on Zip Zapper, and he'll do it. Teleports in, closes the gap, takes the kill. Kaori's going to be able to survive, and now Pablo's also going to take a fair bit of damage on the way out. Nice moves here from Uridu, keeping their cool after the pressure from that Fisher. Nice cliff. Uh, these lanes are not looking too good. Oh, no, Top lane, Gorg. even another kill. <laughs> yeah, and Gorg also going to have to to try his best to scramble towards the tower. But again, Omar with these blocks causing issues for Gorg. It's going to be a double kill for the Rubik here. Four minutes in, he will die, but it's very much worth as they take down both heroes from that Team Bold safe lane. Tier one in the mid, only falling down to about 20% of his HP. A lot of pressure with that first round of the exorcism. Hmm, not ideal if you're a uh... Gorg fan oh, at this point, this, that's for sure. We won't see Omar. Now he's going to be surrounded by the two supports, but with Noob around, Omar feeling very strong. Will die here. But they did lose it. Well, actually, both supports oh, there. Last right click there. Doing enough damage for, a, for, for Noob to take down Pablo as well. So, of course, the trade still ends up going. The They're going to have a lot of things to address. There's like at least two towers that are going to be pressured and maybe even getting collapsed on. So this next 40 seconds for Team Bald is very crucial in terms of how they respond. So big Nature's Wrath coming in bottom. Zip Zapper getting taken down low. We'll cut out the Sprout, but the Kinetic Field will stop his escape. TA2000 takes him down. Lead this stock tier one, taking heavy bits of damage. Team Bob, they're bringing the numbers to try and get some kills, though. As Omar will fall, Pablo goes down in return. We were able to clean him up. He's Run, my friends. start charging towards <laughs> Gorg, but the TPs will do it. Gorg managing to get out back to the safety of his family. With a 5k gold lead at nine minutes. There's an Atos already. Yeah, that's a, that's a, definitely going to be one of the faster ones you'll see on a Death Prophet here, noob. Oh, bottom. It's a good attempt here from Team Bold, and it will be a successful one. We are making the magic oh, happen here with Pablo. They catch out the TA2000 carry nature's profit. It's a big kill. He got uh, ganked by the surprise Weeha from coming around. That should be okay. Never mind, Athos. He he bless him, he can't get Zolt off. they just got so much to interrupt him. Uridu Thunders really making Zip Zapper feel the pain there. Between the amount of disables, roots, and such they have to play with, they still had a silence if necessary. So it's super hard for, for Zip Zapper to get out of that sort of situation. He goes down. Tier 2 will continue to get pressured and already beyond it. Kaori is eyeing up Bengen. Spiders are being sent in as well. Glimpse back. There's going to be no chance for Bengen. Another kill for Uridu. 11 to 4, 10 minutes. Pablo. Maybe with Gorg they can find some kills in Not return. They kills. can. They'll be able to cut off the escape of Wuta. And also. They put a take down Kaori, so Team Bolt, they will manage to punch back here on the top lane. Yeah, you hate to see it, <laughs> but at, at this point, if you're Bolt, you, I feel like you only have two real plays. You try to play like on the outskirts of your jungle, where like you, you dance in a way where you bait OT to go too deep. Where this is not too deep, this is just a free kill. Or you fight with Global. I mean, just so much control there. Static Storm's going to get laid down. Bengen's going to fall pretty low. Uh, so the curse that was used against oh, him, in fact, curse. it will end up finishing him off. Gorg also oh. unable to step back here. Three dead on Team Bolt. Urudu and just completely owning the map right now. Okay. Uh, okay, next plan. When they have... Glo oh, Ooh, we are. Oh, he, he doesn't it. want no plan. All right, they're going to love the jump on. To Kaori. Well, be no, an easy, easy kill. for we. Nothing to be done here from the disruptor as Team Bob will manage to take him out. So Weeha 
showing us a bit of a glimpse of maybe what he's going to be able down to the bottom lane. Now we move him with the four of them. Gorg's around if, it, uh -oh. if if he does feel it's necessary to step up, but who do they might actually find Gorg? Whilst the rest of Gorg's team is is looking for them. And so oh, set up with the Aethos. Yep. They've got the vision here for the glimpse back. Gorg in a whole lot of trouble. Uh, Team Bob were able to wrap around the back though, and they also got the carry kill themselves. So an even trade. That's a good trade for the team behind. Yeah, a favorite one for Team Bob. <laughs> They're making it work at Team Bob. They're down 7k, but very much not giving up. They know that they can make plays to get themselves back in the game. They've got eyes on Noob moving in the river. Weehaw's in with the jump. They've got the fart Fisher Static Storm will get laid down, but that's Noob taking down a whole lot of money there. Going the way of Bang, and he's the one to get the last touch on that kill. But Team Bob doing their best it. To hold on to the game and a couple of kills like that, they don't get much bigger than those two. The carry in the mid taken out. Weehaw is going to keep it going. Finds Kaori. Takes down another. Kezu, Weehaw, he may just be able to do it this game. Uh, he, he's a monster. I, I like how they're playing right now where they're... At the same time, they know that, that Team Bold's around, ready for a fight. Team Bold starting to make their way down from the high ground. Looking at the opportunity to, to lead into this. It could be tricky though, Pablo. Oh. It's going to get caught. Sierra 2000 TPs in aggressively. Will manage to help take down Pablo. As he tries to, to TP out himself. Zip zap a few bounces around with the Rolling Thunder, but he's also going to have to, to back off. Gorg is caught in the sprout. A turn. Try and stand his ground with a multi shot. Gets dragged back here into the clutches of Wooters Broommother. It's two dead again on Team Pop. Maybe even more. The silence hits onto both the two of them. Zip zapper. And Bangan in trouble as they'll lose oh. the Pango. Bangan, he, he will survive. They won't go for any further dives right now, or do they'll get back to business? Look towards the tier two in the mid. Kaori is setting up bottom. He's he's eyeing Weha right now. Let's see if Weha's got any uh -oh. way to play to play his way out of this one. They're going to pop the exorcism, but the global's going to come out to try and give time Weeha to back away. See if he can play his way. In fact, he's going to go aggressive. Jumps oh. in for Corey. And now look towards Noob. See if the micro can get him out of this one, but he can't. It's too much damage from the Death Prophet. Weeha goes down. Meanwhile, back over in the mid. Further losses here for Team Bold. As it was just having a big timing. You know what? They're like, nah, screw that. We're not waiting. Five like minutes smoke. It. they got to go. They've got to take these risks, Stop. take these chances. Let's see who they can catch. The guys on Wu said they want to sell for the spider. The fish is going to be off the mark, but we are still able to get him with the jump. Meanwhile, on the back line, Zip Zapper gets taken down. They'll come in with the Echo Slap. Ooh. Get rid of the spider. Wu Tzu falls. Team Bolt, they're able to find the pickoff. Maybe looking, looking for more here, Corey. Tempted to control Weeha with a glimpse back into the kinetic field, but won't actually mm, bye -bye, manage to lock him down. He ends up dying as Gorg kind of goes in very aggressively to ensure that he takes down Kaori. Will cost him his life. There'll be a buyback straight away as well from Kaori. As Uridu, they want to try and maybe pressure the, the high ground now. There's three heroes dead on Team Bold. Just Weeha and Pablo left alive. No threat of the Echo Slam. In fact, Pablo himself, maybe no threat from anything at, from him at all as the Stolen Fisher catches him. Another kill for Noob. And Uridu up to the tier threes they go. Four dead on Team Bold. Weeha's farming. Should be their next two big objectives. Zip Zapper. Sure. It's going to hold them back for now. Maybe give Zip Zapper a chance to live. Now nah, the follow up silence is too much to lock him down. Zip Zapper taken out. Urudu Thunders removing the top barracks here from the base of Team Bold. Zip Zapper will come in with the buyback. Wee is going to be put with the jump. They'll try and come in with the global, but New pots the BKB straight away to remove it. Stands his ground He's here healing. against Meepo. <laughs> That's going to be Wee uh -oh. out of the game for 50 seconds. They're not able to burst through Noob, especially at this point with the Shiva's guard. He's absolutely massive here on the Death Prophet. And they'll GG. tap out. GG is called. Urudu Thunders will take this game one. Yeah, these guys are good. Their draft is pretty solid. They played well in terms of... Very solid mid player, Noob. Yeah, he is kind of owning as... Something that's sticking out to me is the bottom lane. That, that is a... Uh, that's a disaster if we have a quick look at the CS. Oh, no. Of the Slark Wait, and the CS? Centaur. Uh-oh. What, what, yeah, what's the, CS? Just the one, unfortunately. <laughs> top lane, Gorg. 
He'll be the first one to go down this game. Omar able to take him out. He caused issues, I believe, setting up for the first bird against Gorg in game one. He's done it again here in game. No, absolutely not. No, Tier 2000 is going to get some very fast item timings this game. Azurudu. Oh, Top playing. Omar. Oh, sticks. He's into the trees. Gorg needs one more attack. Oh, the gush slow, though. Oh, one second. Oh, one second. my goodness, Omar. He's, he's still alive. Bengen, can Bengen find him? He can. So Bengen will at least be able to bring him down. But that is Gorg knocked out of the top lane once again. It's a very good trade for the Tide in this. Ever you play a, a volatile lane or perhaps slightly unfavored with like this Tide Earth. But every time you get the kill on him when you trade your support, this is so big for the Tide. It hurts here. It's like Dark and Ursa so much. He went for the dive. Got up to six stickies on Noob, but Omar's in with the return play and make sure that Weeha doesn't get away with, with trying to dive in. For I'm the just looking at this Lark inventory. Uh, I hate to keep harping on it, but he is very fat. He's looking at like a 11 minute defusal, maybe 10.30. So that's when the game is definitely going to speed up. Nice dodge back work. I mean, with the support backup, this is going to enable them to get aggressive onto Omar. They'll take down the Hoodwing. Kill for Gorg now. As you know, not quite on the same levels of farm, of course, as TA2000, but not far behind. Especially considering the slow start to the lane and the deaths that were had up there. We'll be able to pick up the Ring of Hell. And uh, Gorg able to maintain a stable position in this early game farm. Yeah, I mean, his game, it's completely recovered at this. Oh, bye bye, Zipper. The K with Tiny, it's. I mean, Undying isn't the most damaged support, but when you lower their HP, you have a tiny comp, steal some farm, or even wrap around on his mid lane if the fight prolongs. Oh, oh mid. Get the toss back on Weeha, but he's already out and away with the Firefly. I must going to attempt to chase him. Has got the control with the Bushwhack, and... They, 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 Weeha's going to go in aggressive. Using the Stampy to get in there, he'll be able to take down Omar with him. Oh, Lucas here. So they'll make the, the best out of a bad situation there, but overall, Urudu, TA2000 swings across. And with, him, with the help of Noob, they will still manage to take down Pablo. But still a two for two. Sure, Team Bob lose their mid, but they, they keep managing to find something in response to the moves that Urudu Thunders are forcing against them. Yeah, like their responses so far. Are... Not to the already bottom, Noob is here. At the end, dude, this, the Slark definitely feels like it's going to be a bit of a problem. Team 2000. Team Bold's going to be able to throw at this hero to make his life hard. Radiant are scanning. See around the mid, Noob. The combo, ready with that blink reveal, catches. We are. This time they'll be able to get the burst to take him down. Bengen not able to offer up any resources to, to help save him here. See them dive forward. Look towards Bengen as well. Noob's going to have Link back up again, and there it is. Jumps in with a combo. They get the follow up pushback control. TA2000. Oh, he's even thinking about diving. Tier 2's there. We'll hold back on that one. Only 13 minutes in, and already Urudu Thunder's just. Oh, very scary looking slot. Yeah, I mean, normally when Slarks have this good of a game, there'll be one opportunity where he overplays his hand. Um, unfortunately, we uh, is getting jumped on a lot in this uh, early to mid game. Is he actually going to go down this time? Is he, well, he there will. he is. I mean, yeah. look at the back lines. TA2000 is wrapping around the back of the fight. They still get the two kills, though, team. Let's see if they can do anything about TA2000. Nice ravage from the edge of the fight that will set up for the bushwhack to allow TA2000 to continue to claim more lives. Out of this fight, Gorg's turned up, but everybody else is already dead. He's going to try oh, and find TA2000, so but he's not going to get him. He, I mean, Gorg, he wanted to help out with the team, but unfortunately the team, that there was no team left to help, T. I mean, I... He'll live at 20 to 7. Things from kind of looking like Team Bomb might have a chance, they've sped up pretty rapidly in the last few moments. Uh, here for Urudu Thunders, and... We are will try to oh, take down Corey, you hate but to Noob see and it. Omar will be able to put a stop to it. They'll make sure that Weehar dies for his efforts. And that Perseverance really kicking in there for Kaiori Kappa. Um, Alright, they're going to get Omar. That's a, that's a good, decent pick-off, to be fair. No, I feel this is the thing with, with Weehar on board, at least. He's a super aggressive player, 
but he often still tries to be aggressive when the game doesn't call for it. Okay. Noob. Straight in. They've got the Ravage as well, but Gorg has managed to get a fair few swipes stacked up onto Noob, but here's TA2000 swinging in from the side. Gorg, he'll get taken down, and this Lark's going to have an easy cleanup on this one. Team Vault, they've got to run. Pounds four from TA2000. They take down Zip Zapper. Bengen's going to go for the TP out. There's nothing to stop it, so he'll manage to escape, but still, two further calls dead. More glory here for the Slark. Aghanim's defusal, Echo Saber done at 17 minutes. I think that's... And the hammer. The Kyori's right, going meet your hammer into Desolator. Oh, Kyori no. just doesn't give a shit. I'll, I'll, I'll say it how it is. Uh, I mean, he's got the smile as well going. <laughs> he's, he's having a great time. Don't try this in your pubs. Don't try this in your pubs. Don't, don't. <laughs> Even if you're all. 23 to 8, don't try it. This is a professional and this is controlled circumstances. To be fair though, after Undying unlocked this laning phase, yeah. dude, look at that grin. That is a he sinister is grin. It. That is that is scary. This man, I mean, he... right, the things that the, the, the really thunders right now got to be pretty pumped up because they they win this game, they're going to Div One team. It's yeah, that's true. That, I mean, Div One's in their sights, and if anything, this is just proof that Pos Fives aren't needed in the game of Dota. Um, we probably could go to a four v four. He's just buying anything he wants and still winning the game. What's it, Gorg? Got some action here. Oh, but then, then in comes the Slark. How and do they stop him? with a DD. And then any sort of hyper team ball, getting something good out of that trade just falls out the window. And in fact, they'll call it GG is called. Oh, already? Fair enough. Fair play. They don't want to give uh, Kaori this desolator statistic on Undying. They'll, yeah, they tap out. But I don't think many people came into the series expecting um, Team Ball to really be able to take this series. Um, I think, unfortunately, we weren't able to see them spice up.